Hi there, Lindsay here, The Frugal Crafter. This is a little bit different than what you usually get on my channel. I generally do reviews after I've used a product for a while, but this product came in such pretty packaging that I thought I'm going to unbox it and uh, we'll do the review after I've used it for a while. But I thought this might be kind of entertaining, especially being in the holiday season and you may want to be ordering Christmas presents early and you might want something that looks extra fancy and bougie for your artistic friends. Um, and this is so precious that it came in this much bubble wrap. I actually took the bubble wrap off of it and I, I flattened it out and rolled it up. I'm like, that is some serious protection. These pencils came well protected. You want to see what they are? All right. I'd never heard of these before. Uh, the Enstel Stationery Shop contacted me. Now they are the folks that sent me the um, 100, uh, no, 520 set of Brute Fooner colored pencils, which um, I liked. I was a little, you know, when I when I reviewed them, I did the big caveat of that's a lot of pencils and therefore it's quite a bit of money. So, you know, just it kind of takes it out of the budget realm when it's that expensive. But I have been using these because they're in a rack right by where I sit. So I tend to grab them a lot and they have performed really well. Of course, I wouldn't vouch for any light fastness, but they did perform really well. And I thought I would go ahead and mention that just so that, you know, um, that even though I didn't give them the super duperest best review, they've performed pretty well. And even though I didn't give them the super duperest best review, this company still wanted me to review their other products. So I thought that was kind of nice. They they appreciate integrity, so so that's good. So uh, it comes with this little card that gives you some information about how to contact the uh, shop owners should you need their help. It comes with a pencil extender. So when your pencils are starting to get used up, you can put them in there and still keep on using them. And now I'm going to try to carefully open this so I don't damage anything. So I've got my craft knife here. And uh, as soon as I took this out of the, the cardboard box, which by the way, they shipped last week and it did come from China, um, went from China to Japan and then uh, up here to Maine. I was really surprised. I didn't think that they would get here that fast. Take the plastic off. So this is definitely something I would see as uh, more of a gift set and hopefully they perform really well so it looks kind of like a like a book or a DVD collection so let's just take these out and see what we've got I'm not like I'm not accustomed to unboxing usually what I do is I'll open it like uh, on the couch you know right when it comes in and then I'll start um, you know playing with it and you know and then there's so by the time I actually come to do the review they look very well used so this is pretty these are called uh, Chinese style oil colors and I have their uh, listing open on my computer and by the way they sent these to me for free for to review uh, just to get all that disclosure oh those are pretty oh that's nice um, and they are available in sets of 50 or 100 so um, I think the 50 sets have like a I think you still get this like you still get the let's see one two three four five books but I think they're like uh, thinner and maybe have uh, probably 10 pencils per set. Ooh, those are pretty. And they have, let's take a look at that. They've got some, um, they've got the, the dreaded metallic <laughs> foil, it's hard to read, Phoenix color. And then it's got um, artwork. It looks like cherry blossoms or clouds. I wonder if all the artwork, oh, it's all a little bit different on each pencil. Ooh, that's pretty. They have a matte, um, the barrel's matte. It feels nice. And the printing is a gold foil. They have capped ends. Uh, the website says a 3.3 millimeter barrel. Oh, isn't that pretty? So I could see this would be a really nice gift set. Now, did these come out? The trays looked out. So you could, like, if you're if you're doing uh, some artwork and you want to lay with the trays, the trays, this is just what the back looks like. They're plastic trays in a pretty sturdy cardboard insert. Um, so, yeah, you could take the trays out and then lay them around your workspace so you don't have to have these books there if you don't want to. Um, I don't read Chinese, and obviously the, you're unboxing it with me, so I haven't like translated anything. Oh, it's got a little... Oh, listen to this. It's got like a magnetic clasps on there. Oh, that's nice. Um, so the covering, I'm a sucker for packaging. I love beautiful, beautiful packaging, beautiful reusable packaging. So we've got a three-dimensional layered like die cut artwork here. We've got a dragon. It looks like a turtle dragon or borealis thing with uh, clouds or waves. 
and some geometric design in the back. That's really lovely. That's really pretty. Let's see these other colors. Oh, and this one's got a tiger. Oh, that's pretty. And again, it's got that lovely uh, three-dimensional die cutting. Uh, if these pencils are any good, I'll be I'll be very impressed because I could see the amount of money that went in the packaging. Oh, that's pretty. I love doing this and seeing the little designs change. So I see some butterflies, I see some people, some patterns, bunny, some geometric designs. So it's kind of neat. We'll have to we'll swatch a few of these. We'll see how they how they go. And this one has looks like a phoenix with the fire and the clouds. These are gorgeous boxes. The hard thing will be using them and then having some of them shorter than the other. Isn't that going to be tough? Oh, and here we got our peaches, reds, and pinks. Now, when I go like this, though, one of the one of the reasons that's nice to uh, kind of go like this is you can see, you can kind of see how well centered things are. If you're seeing way more lead on one side than the other, then you've got an uncentered lead. But so this would be pretty nice. I'm surprised at the diversity of designs they have gold foil stamped on here. And I'm I'm sniffing them. I don't smell, I can smell wood, but it's very faint. Uh, it's probably because the packaging is cardboard, so it doesn't have, um, it doesn't have like, you know some of those tins, I think because they're spray painted, they'll have the off-gassing odor. Phoenix Color, I guess, is the, um, is the brand. Felicimo, oh, you know what? This says, does this say Felissa, Felicimo, like the Tokyo Seeds? I don't think so, because I think this is Chinese, but that's what it looks like, Felicimo. Felicimo? I don't know if the camera can zoom in on that, but if you want to, if you guys are color pencil aficionados and you want to pause it, you can see the, because I know there's that Felicin, Felicino Tokyo Seeds. I don't know if they're related. I should see. Does it say where it's made? Uh, Felic, well, here it is right there. This is a little bit easier to read because it's on navy. F E I. L E N I A O dot com. I don't think it's the same company. Um, I would assume they're made in China because the company that contacted me was out of was out of China. I wonder if you'd keep the sleeve or not. The sleeve looks like it probably is protecting the booklets from damage. Let's take a look at the. Oh, what's this? This looks like a color chart, maybe. That's neat. That's like a color chart. I'm going to have to look at this and see if there's like, I can't imagine this pigment information on this because it's, uh, you, the only color pencils that I have that have pig, actual pigment information would be the Derwent Lightfast. I don't even think my Faber-Castells have pigment information. That would be interesting if that was on there. I'll have to, um, have to research that further. So it does have a little color swatch. I think 100 is in the full line. Um, I don't know about open stock. I would I would kind of doubt it because most of the budget brands don't do open stock and these go for between $46.40 and $76.86 and United States dollars. So I'm assuming the lower prices for the set of 50 and the higher prices for the set of 100. Um, oh, this is pretty. We've got a long skinny dragon and we've got those that same die cut design. It's very pretty. I, I like that attention to detail. I love beautiful art supplies. These look good. Very pretty. They, they feel nice. Now, I was suckered in by the Erogitin pencils that also came in little books, and I still have them, even though I do not like those pencils, but they're so darn pretty that, <laughs> that I kept them. Um, and this one looks like a crane, maybe? I'm wondering, oh, you know what? I bet this here, I bet that's the artist's name, maybe. Again, I'm going to have to use Google Translate. They all have a different a different word here, uh, and it's a two-word thing, so I'm wondering if it might be somebody's name, like the artist's name that designed that. And this seems to be more neutral than maybe a few outliers that didn't fit in the other sets. All right. Hey, you want to swatch some of these out? Why not? I have... Um, I have some watercolor swatch sheets. Let's give it a try. Let's see, maybe put them in color order. I don't know if I'm, not, I'm probably gonna swatch them out, all out, but let's see. Maybe I will, maybe they'll feel so dreamy that, that I will want to. 
Let's start red with reds because reds are my favorite color. All right, let's just uh, let's just see. Now I'm looking here to see if there's any numbers. I don't see any numbers. So generally, if you don't have any numbers, and I'm not sure, I'm just going right from the box without sharpening. Um, generally, those are nice and smooth though. If you don't have numbers on a pencil, you might not want to bother swatching it just because you know you don't have the numbers to cross reference it with, you know. Oh, these are really smooth though. Okay, there's one light layer. I'm not I'm not upset with that. I'll bring that up a little bit more. Now let's do I've got kind of like this it kind of has like three little marks on it, so let's do and this is not sharpened guys, this is just right out of the box. So we'll do two layers. Let me fill that in. And then I'll do a third where I actually burnish down. Hey, nice solid color, not really straining my wrists. They feel a little softer than the uh, than the Brute Funer 520. That's nice. That felt really nice. Let's do a darker color. Let's do this one. And we are enjoying some riveting videos from Lindsay. Like my jingle? Maybe I'll add it. Riveting videos. <laughs> There's one. Now this one does feel a little bit harder, but it's not scratchy. Let's do two layers and then burnishing. Hmm, feels a little firmer, but not scratchy. And now I'll do the burnishing up here. Oh, these are nice. The only thing I worry about these is that somebody could buy these or get these as a gift and then they become too precious to use. And I think people should use their supplies and not be worrying about them being precious. Let's try a, like a nice, um, a nice primary red. Let's look at this one. I do love the gold detailing because I don't have to read it because it's not English words that would mean anything to me. So I can just appreciate how pretty they are and not be upset that my poor middle-aged eyes can't focus on them. Metallic writing is kind of the bane of my existence. <laughs> But I think as far as presentation, it's really pretty. As far as practicality, it is not, but if you're, this is presentation, so I think it works. Here we go, that's kind of like more of a tomato red. Again, not scratchy, lays down pretty well. Let's try, uh, let's try a few from the yellow box, so pretty. This will be yellow and orange, I suppose. Let's do a nice bright orange and see how that one does. It's not difficult to get the pencils out, which is nice. That's something to consider. Since they're all in one layer, you don't have to lift trays out, unless you want to lift them all out so you can have them on your table. Apologies for the uh, for the noisy water pump, but we're just chilling, right? We're just trying to... This one almost feels a little bit scratchy there. Granted, I have not sharpened these. I think I just had a weird spot on the pencil because uh, now it's acting fine. This one's not as pigmented as the red. It feels like it might be a little bit streaky, but it's not bad. Let's do a yellow. Oh, this one's laying down really nice. This feels nice and soft. I'll be really curious to do some artwork with them and uh, and then do a full review. I've got Inktober, so I do mixed media. So, you know, I'll have plenty of chances to use these. There's two and then a burnish. I can't really, it's hard to tell with yellows because you can't really see big, a big value difference, but that well, laid down pretty nice. Let's maybe do it, man, I'm, how long is this video? Man, 14 minutes already. <laughs> Let's do a nice dark green, dark olive color. Just random sampling, I'm pretty impressed. This is a um, watercolor paper that I'm on, not a super textured one, but... I think it was uh, Strathmore Vision. Let's do another layer here. It seems to be that the darker colors feel a little bit firmer. But it's no effort at all to burnish with them. 
All right, let's grab a blue. So we're just doing a few random. Oh, you know what? Let's try that. That's a pretty sagey teal color. Let's do that. We all love we love our pastels, don't we? We love our pastels. Oh, this feels nice and smooth and soft. I like the feel of the lighter colors. They definitely have a um, they definitely have a smoothness to them. Of course, it's kind of hard to see the value difference when you have a really light color. Let that laid down really nice. Pretty color. I mean, just look at the, the foiling though. The foiling is pretty. This is something that would be really nice to give as a gift, I think. I mean, can you imagine receiving that? I feel like I got a, a Christmas present today. <laughs> Let's do, oh, you know what, let's do it in like an ultramarine or electric blue kind of color because those I always find, like on, even on Prismacolors, are kind of weak and uh, streaky. So let's see how they do here. I don't know what it is about that color, um, but it, that's, that's one that tends to be a little bit uh, tricky. It must be whatever pigment they use and encapsulating in the wax or whatever. Could be Prismacolors more wax-based and these are more oil-based. smooth. I'd say it's still a transparent, more transparent color, but I'd say it, uh, it laid down pretty smoothly. Oh, that's a nice color. Kind of like a um, aqua teal color. And then we'll do a burnish layer. Yeah, very nice. I don't have any qualms with these. Let's do one of the, oh, let's do this, um, maybe not the pastel per, uh, purple because it might be hard to see, but we'll do this guy. Very nice. They feel nice in my hand. They're, I'd say satin. I wouldn't say matte, I wouldn't say gloss. I'd say they're kind of more of a satin finish. I also feel like the, the tips are pretty true to color. This isn't a full review, guys, though. I'm not suggesting you rush out and buy them, but um, but they're nice. Unless, you know, you want to get that special Christmas present done. You know you have someone who loves stationery. Uh, yeah, stationery collector. This That would be a perfect gift for a stationery collector. And you want to get something before, uh, you know, before you have to worry about shipping and stuff like that. You want to order early. Um, yeah, I think this would be a beautiful gift set. I mean, even if you even if you didn't want to keep them in the books, even though the books are so pretty, but even if you wanted to put them in jars on your desk, the gold foil, that would be really pretty. And this is why I don't do unboxings, because I can get all swoony over how beautiful the stationery is before I've been really, you know, before I've had a chance to really use it and be critical. So I just want to warn you, I have not, uh, this is the first time I'm using these, so I don't know, I need to use them more to be fully uh, critical and thoughtful. But so far, I'm not having any issues or any, any like there's no warning bells going off with these. Not that there are warning be bells going off with the other one. Oh, I think I found a couple of pencils that might not be perfectly centered. These two browns, let's give one of these a try. Um, so I don't see any warning bells going off, but, uh, but I didn't with the other one, just I would, my only warning bell was the size of the set and how much it cost because, you know, for a budget level pencil. These seem to be pretty decent. However, I bet a lot of people, if they received these, they would, they would be a collector's item type thing. But they're not priced that, they're not that bad uh, price wise, so they wouldn't have to be. I think a lot of the price, oh shoot, I burnished two instead of one square. Well, okay, there's, I'll just go another layer on that first layer just to give you the two layers. Yeah, they're nice and smooth. Um, I'd like to try out that white. Oh, do I have black paper handy? Let me see. I need, oh, you know what? I have a, uh, a tone tan 
sketchbook I can open up real quick towards the back. We'll just do a quick little... Hmm, shows up on that, but that's not the same as black. All right, oh, I got some black cardstock right here. Let me grab it. This is just regular rolled cardstock, nothing fancy. We'll see if it shows up. Okay, so that's the uh, the Phoenix color. Let's just do a Prismacolor next to it because it can be hard to tell out of context. So yeah, the Prismacolor is definitely brighter. Generally, I find white color pencils to be a little underwhelming, especially oil-based color pencils. So I just wanted to put that there, just so you had a had a quick base of reference. But anyway, I wanted to share those with you before I, you know, sharpened anything and made them less beautiful, <laughs> so that you'd be able to see what they looked like, especially if you were considering something like that for a stationary lover and you wanted to, um, you know, have something that was beautiful. That is lovely, though. Can you see the foil? That's pretty. I love it when I don't have to read the foil. Foil's beautiful. <laughs> so pretty. Yeah, they're not going to look this good. Once, once I start sharpening them, they're just not going to look this good. So I thought it'd be fun just to share that with you. Um, we'll have a full review, as always, after I've used them. I'm going to put my phone on that, on the Google Translate, and see if it tells me anything about it. You'll you'll learn about that in the review, and uh, I'll try to get the review out fairly soon. Since I have all these Inktober projects I've been doing, I should be able to do that, so that way you don't have to wait too long. But I will link these in the video description in case you're interested. Oh, you know what? I think with these you might want to, like, just be very careful inserting these back in because of the pretty die cut um, effects or details on the front of the box, but that's what it looks like. That's how it would come, just shrink wrapped. That would wrap pretty easily. A little belly band on here. I'm gonna leave that on for right now. Very pretty. Phoenix color soft colored pencils. Beautiful packaging. So we'll put them to the test and we'll see how they really are. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below and I can address them during the review. Um, if it's not something I think of on my own, uh, that would be great if you want to do that. And until next time, happy crafting. Bye.